Okay, so we're going to learn about how to do these these pages over here, uh, which are a little bit more text focused, uh, but it's still fairly easy to do. So things like type on the path are included in this one. So some tips and tricks I'm gonna be teaching you guys as well as some other things to watch out for, but let's get started. Now, what if we want to have a page that's a little bit more focused on um, not the image, but the text itself. Um, so I'm going to create one that has a little bit more text in it. So again, first we're going to drag and anchor image down. So I'm going to do one of the city. I'm just going to align it to the grid like that. And we can also fit it like that just so um, it takes up or it's more proportionate with what the original image is. And we are going to use just the same old title block. Maybe I'll actually just grab it from uh, up here. Cool, so we have a title block and I'm just gonna put that down here. Uh, and for this one, we're gonna want some sort of subtitle or a subheading. Um, I'll just do a header. Oh, header here. And we're gonna wanna make this a little bit smaller. So maybe like a 36 and light. Cool, so that's our title block right there. And Cool, so we want to usually have something here that goes down. Uh, and how we do that is we can draw a line first in the path that we want it to go down. Right click on the type tool and click type on the uh, path tool. And then we're gonna see once we cover over this line, we can have a little addition symbol right there. Click on it and we can type um, whatever we want here. So type on a path, something like that. Again, we wanna change this to our font and maybe we want this to be a little bit bigger just to balance it out. Now, if we don't want this line to show, we can select the line and change the stroke of it to none and it will basically disappear. Then we want to maybe move this a little bit just to balance out the page. Cool, so now on the next page, we have plenty of room for text itself. Uh, for this one, again, we're going to use our two column text. Again, we're going to be leaving a bit of blank space here. Um, and I'll show you guys why, because if you actually just fill in both of these with placeholder, it's just a giant block of text. Nobody really wants to read anything like that. So you can see that just two giant blocks of text is not really desirable for anybody to read. But if we just give it a little bit of room, something like this, you can already tell that it's a lot more breathable. The page is a lot more breathable. Now I'm going to do one that actually has a, um, has a little picture at the bottom here. Uh, because I think it actually does add a lot to the page itself. So I'm going to narrow this down just a little bit, maybe like right here. And then we're going to copy that over. Cool. Let me move this over here. And I'm just going to create a little image down here. And this will balance out the page in terms of uh, image to text. So we're going to put a nice little image in here. Okay, maybe this one will do. And then same thing like that. Uh, we can drag it up or down or whatever. And this will basically help us balance out this page. So if we want something that's uh, got a lot of text, we can do something like this. Um, so it's got the text in here, but it's also got a lot of breathing room. So a lot of white space and it's got a lot of pictures to kind of back everything up. Just so, every, just so the reader is engaged in our page and not super bored and turn away. Uh, but let's move on to our final layout. So our last one is a combination of both. We have a good amount of text and we also have uh, some very big pictures that we want people to focus on. Uh, this one is going to use uh, two different pages and the picture is going to basically stretch across two pages. Uh, the picture is going to go right over here like this. Uh, it's going to stretch in between the two pages. Now that's a one good way of visually connecting the two pages. Uh, is by stretching an image across it. 
The other benefit of doing this is that the page can actually be super big and super blown up uh, just so you can have a more complete image of what the image actually looks like. Now, this is the image that we're going to put in here. We're going to have the title block. Let me just drag that over here and just going to fit that into maybe this grid here. So we have our title here. And then let's just put a, a filler text here. I'm going to drag it so I don't have to um, have to change the font again. So maybe we just want some text here that, you know, fits nicely. Oh, didn't want to rotate it. That fits nicely into our page. Uh, maybe you'll want to have a subheader right there. And then we are also going to add some text maybe over here to balance out the page. That's one sign and the other side. So something like that. If you see that over here, the text is a little bit tight. So we're going to drag it down a little bit just so the text isn't crazy tight with the picture itself. Um, and you can see already we have a nice page layout already. Um, and that's basically this picture that goes across the two pages. That's this picture doing its work. Uh, now, sometimes when we're doing something like this, we want to have kind of another image that people can focus on. So let's just say I have, oh, sorry. Let's just say I have a accent image. Um, so I'm just going to drag another image in here and we want to have an accent image here. For example, this image. Now we can place this on one of the sides and then we can use this trick where we go into the stroke, put it on paper and then just make it something a bit thicker. So like eight or anything thick. And this is going to act as a border. Okay. Uh, we're going to want this to kind of just sit on the edge here, just so it acts as a little bit of a border. Now you can obviously make this bigger or smaller as you like, but um, I, I do just like to add some sort of other image here just to accompany this big one. But if that's not what you want to do, then uh, by all means, just don't do it. But that concludes the video. If you guys have learned anything, please leave a like and subscribe. If you guys need any uh, pointers as to InDesign, uh, just the basics, I'll link a video up here. It's also going to appear at the end. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.